Thanks for joining us at ITU's headquarters for WISIS Forum 2019, where we celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the event. And I'm delighted to be joined by Vladimir Stankovic, he's ICT policy analyst at ITU. Vladimir, thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, Vladimir, to start with, I'd like you to explain a little bit more about the uh, WISIS stock taking process. Uh, how does it work? What does it encompass? Sure, I've been your guest uh, two years ago and I think I did explain that already. However, there are some improvements since that, that time. This stock taking process was uh, mandated to ITU in 2004 by the World Summit on Information Society and since then we've been collecting various ICT projects from around the world that are helping in development and also making social impact. Uh, 2019 had brought us an uh, amazing improvement. Uh, more than 1,141 projects were submitted for this uh, year's stock taking report, out of which 1,062 were also nominated for the VISIS Prize. Now, VISIS Prize is an integral part of the VISIS stock taking, and it really helps a lot in collection of these amazing stories from around the world. Now, what else are we doing at the VISIS stock taking process? We have improved our online presence. The VC Stock Taking platform is more interactive, more user friendly. I invite all of the stakeholders to uh, use it, explore, and submit. More to this, we, have, uh, we are running the third year of the VC Photo Contest, another activity of the VC Stock Taking, where we are asking the community from around the world, photographers, and all, all of those using the photos, uh, and uh, um, to actually depict and picture how ICTs are helping development on the ground. And in the last two years, we have uh, collected more than 150 amazing photos. And we, I also advise you to go to the business pl platform and also use them for your presentations and any exhibitions that you might be having. And of often we do have troubles finding these kind of uh, photos. So I'm very pleased that uh, we have involved that in the business stock taking process. In addition to this, and uh, not only reporting on the um, ICT projects uh, that are coming through the business stock taking platform for the business stock taking report and the business prizes, we're also working in with some other entities uh, and we are uh, actually collecting projects on their behalf. So I'm happy to announce that uh, with our colleagues from the standardization department, we've been collecting AI-related projects, artificial intelligence projects, that are also helping uh, advance development. So during their AI uh, Summit for Good in May this year, we will be launching a special report on this. In addition to this, we're also working very close with the study groups of all three sectors for development, standardization, and communications to actually produce some kind of a mapping plan, mapping tools that can link the pro ICT projects with the particular questions that they are studying. So lots of things are happening at the VC stock taking process. Uh, we do look in for the new call that will be launched uh, in, during summer this year and invite all of you to follow. Absolutely. And of course, another thing you are overseeing here at the WISIS Forum is WISIS Prizes. Yeah. So how was it this year? Any, yeah. any difference to previous years? Yes, the difference is huge. Uh, we reached new levels. So last year, the, we had 492 nominated projects for the VCS Prize. Prior to that, we had 345. And of course, I'm going to tell you that prior to that, we had 311. And prior to that, we had 300. And prior to that, we had 152 projects. So the, uh, the exponential growth of the VCS Prize submissions were just uh, ext uh, extraordinary. So this year, we have 1,062 projects. This is more than 200 uh, percent increase. And if we are reaching to a thousand nominations this year, we are actually looking into a possibility of having more than 2,000 next year. And this is something that we were hoping since 2012 when we started the process. So um, this year, VCS Prize also um, had different kind of uh, uh, ceremonies. So we had five VCS Prize and stock taking related events during the VCS Forum 2019. One of them taking place during the high level opening, the VCS Prize ceremony. This was a place where all the 18 winners were announced. Prior to that, we kept them secre secretive so that we actually use this opportunity of the VCS Forum for the big announcements. And um, uh, next to that, we also had a ceremony, a networking event that was organized for all winners and champions to actually mingle and meet uh, each other and also be awarded and uh, greeted by the Secretary General of ITU, Mr. Haolin Zhao. In addition to this, we also had two more events that are very, very useful and important for this process. One of them is called the VCS Prize focus group. So the idea of this uh, uh, group is to bring together all the former and this year's winners and champions of the VCS Prize and to discuss what will be their future role. How can we, as the VCS Secretariat and ITU, continue promoting their successes? At the same time, how can they continue promoting VCS process and VCS Prize as a good platform to promote ICT practices for development? In addition to this, I believe that very soon we're going to have uh, several committees be, uh, organized within the group that will be targeting particular uh, activities uh, such as membership, uh, communication, 
um, topics for the special reporting for next year and so on. I do invite all of you to also follow that. And finally, we also had the uh, World Cafe that we do traditionally on each Versus Forum where all the participants of the Versus Forum can come and meet this year's wi uh, winners and champions. And I'm very happy to say that uh, this year we had more than 20 amazing uh, presentations coming from this community de depicting their projects and actually pitching how these projects were established and how we can replicate them elsewhere. So the numbers are constantly increasing. It's interesting because obviously this year WISIS Forum was reaching a milestone as it celebrates its 10 year anniversary. So how will you ensure as organizers of the event that you keep it fresh in the years ahead? This is what we do each year. And I have to say that we are managing it. So each year I'm surprised of how the whole WISIS Forum is looking. And in addition to this, how are we also treating our WISIS Prize winners and champions coming here? It's um, um, amazing that out of 90 altogether, out, uh, out of which eight, 18 are winners and 72 are champions, we are actually having close to 70 delegations coming to the WISIS Forum. So this is two to 300 people coming. And more and more, uh, I see that uh, new countries and new regions are following this process uh, more actively. So this year we had first time ever winners coming from various countries, including Uganda, Brazil, Costa Rica, and so on. United States of America also joined. So what we do here is to, uh, through small doors, small steps, are trying to increase um, our, our outreach and to actually really uh, uh, become a global platform for many other small regional and national platforms that are taking stock and using the, uh, these uh, repositories to promote good ICT practices for development. And finally, I would like to maybe just add that uh, we are also uh, trying to translate oral texts, at least the, co the fixed context, into all six UN languages. This, is, this has always been uh, one of the challenges, that we cannot reach out to those communities do, that do not um, uh, use English language on such level that they can actually um, submit uh, these projects. However, we are still uh, looking for better solutions on um, actually allowing them to submit in six UN languages. It would be um, um, a capacity that at the moment we are uh, facing challenges, but maybe machine learning will help us. We'll see what the technology will bring us in the future. Who knows? Lots to look forward to. Thank you very much, Vladimir. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Thank you so much. And I invite all of your listeners to come back to 2020 and bring uh, their amazing projects back to the VCIS Forum, VCIS Prizes, and do not submit all in their own, but go and promote any good ICT practices that they see along the way. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks again.